Hi there, just wondering if I could book an appointment for a general consultation. Good morning, absolutely. I can help you with that. To book your general dental consultation, could you please provide your full name and what day and time you were hoping for? Yes, my name is Vaughan Fawcett and I was thinking maybe 1pm on Wednesday. Okay, Vaughan Fawcett. Just to confirm, you're looking to book a general dental consultation for Wednesday at 1pm. Could you also provide me with your phone number so we can confirm the booking? Yeah, my phone number is 0759. Brilliant, Vaughan. So that's Vaughan Fawcett, phone number 07895333455959, general consultation for Wednesday at 1pm. Let me just confirm that for you. Perfect, Vaughan. I have now booked you in for a general dental consultation on Wednesday at 1pm. We will see you then, and if you have any questions before then, please give us yeah, a Yeah, just one question. Where actually is it, the clinic? Because I've never been before. Of course. We are located in the heart of Liverpool, one shopping complex at one of Kenyon Steps, Liverpool, L13DF. We're in the One Park West building, opposite the Hilton Hotel and next to Bouget Restaurant. It's easy to park in the Liverpool One Underground car park, and we're only about 200 metres from James Street train station. Does that help? Yeah, that's fine. Cheers, mate. You're very welcome, Vaughan. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. So there you have it. So this thing can be sold for thousands of dental clinics. And in the next video, I'm actually going to sell this thing. But right now, I just wanted to show you how to build this thing from scratch as a complete beginner like you. You know, I was completely new to NAN, you know, just a few months ago. And now I'm able to build things like this simply by... Well, I'm not going to say by watching tutorials with other people because I actually didn't learn too much from that because I use a lot of language I don't really know how to use. But I did actually use ChatGPT to help me build this. But today you've got me, so you don't need a robot. You've got me sitting here. I'm going to show you how to build this full thing. So let's jump in. This works in a simple way. So it, it has a webhook. So if you've been looking at an, an agent, you've probably seen a webhook before. And all this is is a URL which basically sends data to a, a NAN where we can collect bits of data from the conversation that we're having with Eleven Labs. So first off, let's go to Eleven Labs and actually build this agent. And then once you're in the 11 labs dashboard, you want to go to this conversational AI here. You want to go to agents. And if you didn't realize that agent actually has the voice of me, but only from like a 10 second clip of audio. So it's kind of like a weird Australian version of me, but it's actually a little bit unsettling too, because it's so accurate in some parts. And I think, you know, that actually does sound quite a bit like me. It's just certain subtleties within the voice. But yeah, let's build this thing. Sorry, I'm diverging. So you want to go to agents um, and then you want to go to create new agent and then it would take you to this setup. So the prompt I've used here and I can provide this or you could just screenshot it and copy and paste it. But I just said, basically, I hope I don't get sued actually by Smileworks. <laughs> but hopefully not. They might probably tell me to take this video down. But I'll just use a free shower for them. You don't go to Smileworks, Liverpool. I'm not affiliated. I just use them as an example. Um, but basically said, you're you're a friendly professional dental receptionist, blah, blah, blah. You know, send them as Jason, field, date, time. I should probably provide you with this because it's a little bit complicated. Um, and then the most important part of this, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but I'm going to make it very simple for you. And what I actually did with this agent as well is I went to Manus. AI, if you haven't heard of Manus, it is the best AI tool I've ever used. It's a general agent, so it can just do research everything for you. Basically, what you're going to do is give it the website of, you know, example you want to use or a clinic you want to use. If it's an actual client, you're going to say, I want you to scrape this website of data and create a knowledge base for my AI agent. So this is what I did with this one. I just literally give them the website of the dental clinic here and said, I want you to scrape it. It then gave me a PDF file which you can upload as a knowledge base into the into 11 labs and this is it's just going to know everything about that company then and now we do the tricky bit so this is a bit that took me a lot of going back and forth with NAM but basically we need to go back to NAM we need to in this webhook code I should probably start this fresh I don't want to delete this it's so beautiful so I'll just start again um so we're going to go to new personal and um, we're going to add a webhook node so and this URL here is what we need for 11 labs. So we need to copy this. We need to go back to 11 labs. And I probably, I probably should just start this fresh as well and show you. Um, it won't have, I don't, well, I could just copy and paste it over. Let me just duplicate this. So just for the purpose of the video, I'm not trying to cheat, but you know, it would take me a while to keep copying and pasting. So, so we go to new agent. Let's go back agent, new agent. So I'm just going to start from scratch as if we were doing it with you. So I'm going to blank template, create agent. I'm going to call this demo and we're just going to leave that as it is. The voice, we can actually change the voice of it here. Who have we got? Eric. Let's have a little listen to Eric. 
Gratitude is riches. Complaint. That'll do. And then we are going to go back to the agent. And then the first message, you're going to say, hi, how can I help you? This really doesn't matter too much. And then this prompt is something we can engineer. I'm just going to give you this because, you know, it took me a little bit of playing with. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over. And all this does is basically it gives a personality to it. You know, what its job is when the user books an appointment, your task to understand the full request, extract these details, date, time, service, name. If, you, if you're unclear, follow up questions, blah, blah, blah. So we're just going to copy and paste this in. And then it has all the, the services and everything like that. So you can give this file to ChatGPT and then it's going to create this prompt for you. So that's the best thing I, I would suggest to do. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to copy and paste this in because, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Put the data in ChatGPT, ask it to build your prompt, tell them what the agent's doing and it's going to give you the perfect prompt for it. So I'm just going to go to my little second one here, copy and paste this. And then what we need to do, the way we can see here is the data that we're collecting from this conversation is date, time, you know, the service, what type of it, you know, appointment they're actually looking to book. So this is what we need to collect in these parameters here. So next we need to actually add the variables that this thing's going to collect from the conversation. So first of all, we need to change this to post because this means that any uh, 11 labs is going to receive the data then using the webhook it's going to send it to nan so if we go back to our nan we get this webhook we go back to nan i'm just going to close this one off because it's confusing me now put this url in here i'm going to call this nan and this is going to call this tool to book a point in and then we're going to give it a header and we're going to call this content type just like that i'm going to change this to value this is just so it knows what sort of format is coming in don't worry about this too much i don't fully understand it myself but i know we need to do this we don't have to but it, you know it helps and then we need to enable body parameters so these are important so this is how it's going to actually grab the data that we say in the conversation so the date the time what service we're looking at and it's going to give this to an to a to nan to book in so i'm just going to say this is the data to um, we're going to press add property here i'm going to leave this as string i'm going to call this user name i'm going to change this to a dynamic variable a dynamic variable just means that it, obviously it will change depending on who's speaking to it because it's going to be a different person every time booking an appointment and then we're going to just call this username again we're going to add a new property string we're going to call this service and we're going to change that to dynamic variable service again add property and this one is going to be date add another one for time separate and then we just need to give it some test variables to so actually send through to any end so we're going to add these tools we're going to press save and that thing should be working now so we're going to go back to the agent and now we need to pull some variables through or some queries through so we're going to leave this as non-authentication we're going to leave this as immediately and now we're going to test this we're going to listen for test events we're going to go back to our agent and we're going to test this agent and before we run this test we need to make sure this is on post so this needs to match what it is inside 11 labs so we're just going to test this and pull some data through so we can actually build the rest of the workflow now so listen for test events hello Good morning, SmileWorks Liverpool. This is Sarah speaking. How can I help you today? Hi, Sarah. Uh, I would like to book an appointment. Absolutely. I can help you with that. To book your appointment, could you please provide me with your name, the service you're interested in, and what day and time you'd like to come in? Yes, yeah, so my name is Vaughan Forsett. I'm interested in the teeth whitening, um, and I'm thinking 1 p.m. next Wednesday. Okay, Vaughan, that's great. Just to confirm, you'd like to book a teeth whitening appointment for next Wednesday at 1 p.m., is that correct? Yes. And just to clarify, by next... Okay, perfect. Check that for you. Is that next Wednesday, the 29th of May? It is, yes. Perfect, Vaughn. I've booked you in for a teeth whitening appointment on Wednesday, May 29th at 1 p.m. Great, Before thank you. The... Right. right, okay, he can go, Sarah, <laughs> with, with a male voice but it'll do for now so as you can see here it's now pulled through some data so we now have headers such as so we should so we're getting some data which you know is what we need for now so here we go we've got the service date username and time which is what we need for the agent so we can add the agent node now and we don't have a user chat input so we're just going to define this below 
I'm going to leave this as a tools agent. And we're going to say, you, you are a helpful agent. You are a help. And the prompt we're going to use, I'm just going to, I'm going to provide this for you below. So you don't have to write this out. Um, but I'm just going to go back to my old agent and copy and paste it from here. And this is the prompt we're using. So please create a polite confirmation message for this appointment. So this is how we want to confirm that they've actually got the data. And then all I did was drag these in. So you'll see in a minute when we go to this, we're going to copy and paste that in here. Um, and I will provide the full JSON template for this if you want. You want to just cheat code, but I do recommend building this on your own. And then these, these are going to need to be dragged over from here in a second. But then we're just going to add another option. And this is the system message. So this is what the agent knows how to actually do. So this is the prompt that I actually wrote for it. So you are a helpful, reliable booking assistant. Your task is to create appointments in the Google Calendar using the confirmation providing incoming JSON. You have direct access to the Google Calendar and then we just give it what the information. So we're just going to have to drag these in. So where it says user name, we're going to go down where it says name. I'm going to drag that in here. It, for some reason it's not letting me work it. Wait there. Um, so go to expression. Um, and then we're going to drag this username in here and it's picking up these already so json.body so i think so it's a time it's not actually picked up so we need to change that one um, if it's already green for you then you don't need to do this but i'm just showing you for the purpose of the demonstration so they all look fine to me these ones might need redoing because they don't seem to be working um, so we're just going to change that username so drag this fresh one in and then we're going to change the time here to take that time. And then we're just going to test this step and see what it comes up with. Um, so chat. So we haven't given it a brain yet. So we now need to give it a little brain. So we're going to give it a, I like to use open AI for this. doesn't really matter too much. And then we're going to give it a memory as well. So we're going to give it a window buffer memory and we're going to give it a context window of 10. Just so it can remember, you know, if someone's sort of messing about in the conversation and going back and forth. You do, you might get a few old ladies who want to book in. Might get in a little bit forgetful or, you know, a bit, a bit mixed up with what they want to book in. So we're going to give it a nice long memory so it can remember the last 10 things you said to it. And then the tool we're going to give it is the calendar tool. So if you haven't already connected this in NAN, then all you would need to do is you add your credentials here. I'm already connected, but you would need to sign in here and connect that up. And then we're going to leave this as expression. We're going to let the AI defined by the model. Oh, sorry, the calendar we're going to actually pick. So this needs to be the right calendar for whatever company you're working with. Get access to the calendar. Do it by list. And so we're going to do it fix by list. And then you should have the list here. So I'm just going to use my standard calendar. And then we might need to change these in a minute. So we're just going to leave that as that is for now. Um, and we can, we can actually let the model define this. So we'll let the model define it. So it's going to work out from the data that we get from the agent, you know, what to feed to this calendar. So let's test this again and see what error comes up. There's definitely going to be an error. So what it is, is it's saying it's in the window buffer memory. So this is because this doesn't exist. We're not actually giving it a session ID. We're not collecting an ID from the 11 Labs conversation. So we can use anything as this essentially. So we're going to change this to define below. And our key is going to be username. So we're going to identify each conversation based on the person's name. So we would know, for example, this is the conversation with John Doe. This is a conversation with Vaughn Fawcett. So we're just going to drag this username. So it's just here, drag it in. And now this thing should work. So let's try it again. We test this agent. And there we go. It's pulling through. So, you know, it's as simple as that. You know, this thing's going to book into the calendar. Should we just double check? So let's go to the Google Calendar. And um, what was the date that, it, that we actually gave it? I can't actually remember. 4th of November. So let's have a little look on the 4th of November. So it's quite a while away. November the 4th. And here we can see. So it's booked this in. General consultation. As simple as that. So this is so powerful. It's such a simple thing. When you actually get someone to show you like this. The biggest issue I came across with this was the body parameters. But just know that, you know, you're just collecting username, date, time, service, and that's all you need. And this thing can be sold for thousands to dental clinics because, you know, someone, a receptionist, and not to take away their jobs or anything, but it can help them do a better job. This They're getting paid two grand a month, you know, 1.7k a month, whatever it is. You can charge a clinic £500 a month or you can charge them a one-off setup fee of, you know, a few grand to do this thing. 
So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos like this, comment in the comments and I'll make them for you. So see you guys in the next one.